Okay, Eric, pick one. No. Are you sure? All right, pucker up. Who? <laughs> Marty Sign, Eric here, and this is What I Eat in Hawaii, the movie. I know this is delayed, and it's because I've had a lot going on in real life, but also I wanted to make this video really good, and so it is a long one. Go grab something to eat, someone to cuddle with. <laughs> Psych! I sit back and enjoy the show. We are looking for a place to go eat right now. I'm on the GoPro. Sorry if the audio isn't great. It smells like spam here. Completely forgot to mention this because I'm an idiot, but we were staying in Honolulu near Waikiki Beach at an Airbnb. Just so you guys know. The first restaurant that we ended up going to was Paya, Yaki, can you not? Was Paya Fish Market. And we decided to go there because before my trip, I had asked you guys on Instagram for recommendations on where to eat. And so a lot of the places that we went to were places that you guys recommended. Cheers, cheers. cheers. Uh, we're not gonna get too drunk though. My very first meal in Hawaii was blackened mahi-mahi with rice and a salad on the side. Mahi-mahi is called the dolphin fish. The cool thing about Paya Fish Market is that you can get your fish prepared in like four different ways, but everyone recommends the blackened. My friends and I all got the same thing pretty much, except they got ahi-ahi, which is tuna. We also did get calamari, as well as an Ono burger, which is a fish burger, to share. It was a pretty good meal, I can't lie. So if you train here, you're gonna pass. That's what it's with it. Alright, here we go. Damn, you deep-throated that mm -hmm. fish. <laughs> So thank you guys for this recommendation. But I will say, it's not even close to some of the best food that I've had in Hawaii. Not even close. Oh bro, you are drunk. <laughs> you are drunk, bro. After eating, we went to the beach drunk because we drank Fireball to pregame. I don't know why we pregamed the beach, and we ended up, we didn't even go in the water. We just played frisbee for hours until it got dark. And then we decided for some reason, while we were in Hawaii, a place we've never been to, to go to McDonald's. And I don't regret it at all because it was the best McDonald's I've ever had in my life for some reason. And I'm sorry if the video has been boring so far. It's like watching the first episode of an anime and you gotta get into it, you know? But I promise you it gets good, all right? So let's move on to day two. Yo, good morning. The time is, wow, okay, so. Listen, the reason that I'm out here at this time is because I'm going on a run. And the last time I ran was like, I don't know, five years ago. I'm not having a good time. How you doing? Ah. Ah. Actually, me. They're gonna go finish the five, but I'm out, I'm out of gas. Maybe tomorrow. We went uphill and I just I just bombed it. It was bad. You know what's some bullshit though? Runner's high. Definitely did not feel runner's high. I felt pain. Luckily there's a, a hose here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm two miles away basically from the uh, the Airbnb. It's a 38 minute walk. Let's, oh, my legs are mush. Dude, this is not okay. I'm still gonna do it. We're still gonna run guys, okay? On the run here, I was so focused on trying to stay alive that I really missed the beauty of Hawaii. I stopped running. I need a break. I ended up running half a mile, then walking half a mile. And I also went the wrong way. I am over here and I should be over there. Hopefully this water fountain, oh, it works. Thank God it works. Uh, sucking milk straight out of straight out of the boob. I'm gonna walk across this desert to get to the other side. Dude, Hawaii really is beautiful though. Like, damn. All right, guys, let's get it. Did 
This may be a shock to all of you, but I actually started running, which is crazy. I don't like running, man, but I do now. I ran twice in Hawaii, and since coming back two weeks ago, I've been on six runs. I actually did a 10K on Sunday uh, with Viv and my friends, and I'm going to continue doing it. So if you guys want to see my progress, or if you're just nosy, uh, I made an Instagram for that. It's at money sign run, so you can check that out if you want to. <sighs> I made it. Holy I did it. I'm fing Usain Bolt. I'm Usain fing Bolt, bro. I got myself a Gatorade. Anyway, it's time to eat, which is why you guys are here, right? So let's go. My friends and I went to Tropical Tribe to get an acai bowl, which was honestly a mistake because we were getting ready to go on a hike called Coco Head. And although the acai bowl was very delicious, it was really good. It definitely did not give me the fuel or I guess energy that I needed. Well, I guess that's the same thing, right? The acai bowl was not enough for what I was about to put my body through. It's just making my throat really itchy though. What part of it is the acai? Mm -hmm. I see you guys on the hike. This is Coco Head. It doesn't look as big on camera as it actually is. But like, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a trail that goes straight up to the top. 1,048 steps, 1.5, 1.6 miles up and down. But that was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. It's big, guys. It's really big. It's actually enormous. Oh yeah. This is definitely what I want to read before going on this hike. So the stairs start over here. <laughs> and they go all the way up there. I don't feel like this video is doing it justice, but let's get started. Guys, I don't know about this. This is really f***ed up. What a view though. The run today is not helping me. Now we just got a little f***ing dangerous. God damn. And it doesn't help that I'm exhausted. F me. I'm really struggling here, guys. I didn't expect to get as twice in one day. Once I get to the top, I'm gonna have to call an Uber. We made it up here. Too bad the trees are blocking. Oh, actually. Uh, yeah, I guess it was worth it. All right, time to go meet up with my friends. They're actually already up there because uh, I was just so fast that I went up and down twice. So I'm just meeting up with them here. So this is why you hike Coco Head. Holy. Yo, nice of you guys to show up. I went up and down twice. I was wondering where you guys were. I'm wet right now. I'm actually wet. I'm soaked. Today has been really challenging for me personally. My cardio is just not up there. But hopefully uh, this poke that we're about to eat We'll make up for it. All right, so we got our pictures, got our rest in, and we're gonna head back down now. Time to eat poke. One of the locals that we passed by said it was killer. So hopefully it's like the best thing we've had so far. We're here at Off The Hook Poke Market. It's our first time eating poke in Hawaii. There are a bunch of other recommendations that I did get. Ono Seafood is one of them, but Ono Seafood isn't open today. So we had to come here, but we're gonna go order right now. Here is my poke. I'm really sad that I have the GoPro here, so I can't get the full detail of all of this, but it is beautiful. Shoyu ahi, spicy ahi, all toppings with sushi rice. Fresh bite, here we go. You right? You right? Mmm. 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 They give so many pieces of fish. And they're all enormous. I don't feel like I'm getting scammed. This is delicious though. 9.8 out of 10. 
guys look slightly better than Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give this a 10 out of 10. My initial reaction is also like 10 out of 10. That was delicious. That was like... <laughs> Say that on camera, bro. That was one of the best meals I've ever had. <laughs> no, it actually was though. I cannot wait to try the other poke. I really, really liked the sushi rice at Off The Hook. And I loved how big the fish pieces were. And I loved how much fish they gave. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. You were giving it a 10 out of 10 too? No. Damn. That's legit in this. We are back at the beach that we were at yesterday, but this time I'm going to be going inside the water. What the fuck, Richard? <sighs> Jesus. Hey, you should go on top of it. Go down, go down. We are here at Marukame Udon. I have my mic and camera now, so hopefully the audio quality and video quality is better. There is a really, really long line. There's a line up there as well. And as you can see, the inside of the restaurant is absolutely packed. I asked you guys on Instagram for a recommendation in Waikiki, and almost everyone said Marukame Udon. I am super excited though. I'm very, very excited. Because y'all have been hyping this up. So many people told me to come here, so if it doesn't hit, then I will be pretty sad. Also, before coming here, we literally played spike ball and threw frisbees for three hours straight. It was a good day. It was a really good day. I'm exhausted, though. So it looks like a buffet style where you basically just go down the line and get the tempura that you want. So I got this, guys. If you are watching this video while eating dinner, I apologize for showing you something so great. You order your udon that you want, you pick it up, and then you have options for the kind of tempura that you want. So this is niku tama, so the beef and then tama of the egg, and there are special broth I'm assuming. Chicken katsu, a sweet egg omelet, two shrimp tempura, and a croquet. And then I also got a spam musubi. My noodles got a little puro while I was uh, waiting. First bite, here we go. Mmm, damn. Noodles are fire. Try the broth. Oh, the noodle is kind of sweet, or the broth is kind of sweet. It's rich though. I like it. Mmm, I'll tell you right now though, off the hook was definitely better, but this is still like amazing in its own way. I think I would like it more if it was a little less sweet. Mmm, the beef is good. Damn. Gonna break the egg, record this monumental mo. <laughs> yeah, baby. Get that in there. Shrimp tempura, first bite, here we go. Um, I like the shrimp inside, but I wish it was crispier. And it's kind of doughy, but I'm definitely here for the udon. A lot of the flavor is in this. It's a good trip so far. It is. This has been a really nice trip. I love Hawaii. I'm enjoying my time. I think the tempura options here are okay. I think they taste good, but if I ever came here again, I wouldn't mind just getting the udon. This is also a really large like portion with all the tempura that we got. You got your full? <laughs> I mean, you can take it home, bro. I'll give it a... I'll give it an eight out of 10, yeah an eight out of 10. And I think the rating could have gone higher or lower depending on what kind of udon I got. This one's just a little too sweet for me. Bro. First bite, here we go. Oh. You just stole your line. Mm. Bar for bar. Premium matcha cafe, I don't know why I said it like that, cafe Maiko, which is not a Hawaii thing. I'm not eating because I'm on a diet. I have to go on a run tomorrow. We're just gonna chill here, eat some ice cream, go back to the Airbnb and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it's not taking shots of fireball. All right, so, wasn't fireball, but 
we didn't realize that ABC sold soju, which is nice. I'm tired. This is the most one of the top most tiring days of my life. Psych. The plan is we're all just gonna finish the soju bottle and then just like go to sleep. It's only like 9 p.m. here, but that means it's three back home in New York. So we definitely did not drink that soju because we got home, showered. It was around 10 p.m. and then we all just fell asleep. We're getting old, man. We're getting old. Like none of us wanted to stay up. We just wanted to go to bed. But the next few days, uh, we do go out. Don't worry, we didn't spend every night just going to sleep at like 10. Day three though, which you're about to see, was probably one of my favorite days in Hawaii. We started off the day going on a run, and then after that, we went to Ono Seafood. It's a poke spot, and it was one of the most recommended places to go out to eat at, from you guys on Instagram at the very least. Can I do the shoyu ahi and the spicy ahi please in a regular bowl with White rice, please. Thank you very much. We all just went on a run. We are here at Ono Seafood. I'll get a video of the front later, but. And here is what I got. It's a little too much ginger for me. I got the shoyu ahi as well as the spicy ahi. I see that Ono Seafood has a heavier emphasis on just the fish. But what do I know about poke? First bite, here we go. Damn. Damn. Man. Now to show you. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. It's really, really good. Hawaii is cool, but poke is really cool. I like the simplicity of this bowl. Seasoning is very light. Rice is really good, and I think the fish tastes better than Off The Hook's fish. Because at the end of the day, I'm a purist. I'll change Off The Hook's rating to a 9.9, .9, and I'll give this a 10. I will say though, the poke here is more expensive than I thought it would be. But since I'm just visiting, I don't mind. Give your thoughts on Ono Seafood. I've been really trying. What are you watching <laughs> what you do, bro? Ono Seafood, I would give it a gold medal. They're both the best, but in different ways. The fish here is way, not way better, but the fish here is tastes more fresh, but the overall bowl experience at Off The Hook was better. <laughs> ono oh Seafood. I don't know what to say. I think I prefer Off The Hook because I'm a maximalist. And <laughs> I, I like, <laughs> I, I like, I like the, full, the full bowl experience. The sushi rice at Off The Hook really made the bowl. I think if I had the sushi rice with Ono fish, that would be like marrying the best of both worlds. Oh no, pretty good. I would say this is like 9.75 out of 10. I personally still like Ono seafood better because I'm not like a big sauce guy. Like, if you don't got no sauce, then you're lost. Mm -hmm. I don't like it wet, you know? I just like the meat. I think that the fish in Ono seafood is better. I think you can't go wrong with Ono seafood. That's my, that's my 10 out of 10. I'll give off the hook still like a 9.9 .9 out of 10. And there you have it, folks. And it was just my favorite eating experience in Hawaii. I cannot believe that food like this exists. And it makes me incredibly sad that I will never be able to eat poke like this in New York City. If you guys are ever in Waikiki, like visiting, you gotta go. It's definitely like a top five eating experience for me of all time. Top five, yeah. We were resting in the Airbnb for a little bit, and now we are on our way to another hike, and it's called Pillbox Hike, right? Lanakai Pillbox Hike, and we're exhausted, and it's only 12.30. I cannot believe it's 12.30. <laughs> Why did you guys do that? that? Anything you want to say? I'm gassed. We just drove for 35 minutes. It's been an but, hour, uh, an hour and a half. Yeah, we, we were going to Pillbox the hike, but we couldn't find parking, so we parked at the beach, and we realized that it takes 20 minutes to walk to the hike, and now we're debating uh, whether we should go on the hike or if we should just go to Foodland and eat some more poke. We are here at Foodland, which is actually a grocery store, and they have, you know, a bunch of different kind of food that you can get, and then there's this little poke section right here where you can get your order. We'll have to see how it tastes. There's definitely a lot more different kind of fish here though. The variety is kind of crazy. 
a lot of you guys also recommended getting poke at Food Lands. So uh, I don't know if it's Food Lands or Land, but hopefully it's good. My friends are eating over there right now. I'm eating on top of the rental car because I want a better camera angle. I guess we'll find out if Food Land is really worth going to. I mean, I hope it is. I only got one type of fish, the spicy ahi, and it is $12.49, which is significantly cheaper than Off The Hook and Ono Seafood. The spicy ahi looks very good though. I've been finding myself ordering spicy ahi every time. First bite, here we go. Mmm, mmm, yo. Wow, it's really good. They keep the bowl very simple. The fish you order, rice and uh, furikake. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Mmm, it's delicious. I will say, I can definitely tell the fish is not as good as high quality as Ono Seafood and Off The Hook. It doesn't matter that much to me. Uh, yeah, it matters, but for the price and convenience, because as far as I'm aware, Foodland is a chain and it's everywhere, I think this is a really good deal. Foodland did have the best price, which makes it a lot more appealing, to be honest. Like if I lived in Hawaii, I'd probably go to Foodland uh, more often than to the other places, because for its price, it's really good. But you guys can see why this day was one of my favorite days in Hawaii. It's because we had a bunch of plans, but we ended up just eating, which was fine with me. The best combo, off the hook sushi rice, Ono's fish, and Foodland's price. Then you got the perfect poke. I, I give I give it an 8.5. I read it 8.2. And we actually ended up eating more after Foodland. Nalu Health Bar and Cafe. It was right next to Foodland, literally like, not even a minute walk away. This place is a white girl's heaven. We just got the Nalu bowl, which is acai, strawberry, blueberry, banana, bee nut, and uh, honey. Yeah, bee pollen, bro. First bite, here we go. Is it going to be better than Tropical Tribe? Tastes the same. No, it doesn't. The acai here tastes better. I can feel myself transforming right now. What? A white girl? What did you think I was gonna say? A werewolf? <laughs> that picture. Three, Three legs. Four legs. legs. It takes me two days to really like. Wow, my throat's really itchy though. I like Nalu. I think it's better than Tropical Tribe, the aside that we had yesterday. This is really good. 10 out of 10. All right, so we are at, we're next to the Honolulu Zoo, somewhere close to it, but, cause we're dogs. But uh, we're going to play spike ball, cause we're addicted to the spike ball right now. And uh, yeah, hopefully we've been getting a little better. But just know, we had a lot of fun playing spike ball in Hawaii. Yeah. seen from from the youngster since he came in that's given away now. oh and Cheryl has switched turns out after playing for six hours this week we have not gotten better <laughs> anyway after spike ball we were really tired we took a nap took a shower and then we got ready to go out for the first time it was a Tuesday and typically you would think oh there's nothing going on on a Tuesday we're going out to Bujos tonight which is uh, a Mexican restaurant they do taco Tuesday and we all decided to uh, match with our shirts and our shorts. Yeah, I'm not gonna be recording, but we're gonna pregame now. This is this Woo! is the life. Yeah. Hey, Luz. Luz. <laughs> cheers, 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 cheers. Cheers. Three, two, one, go. Just tell me what to do when I get it, babe. Gucci and Prada trips to your crib in the middle of the night. I don't want to get copyrighted because that would suck. Yeah, I have put you on a flight. No oh. way you beat me. <laughs> oh shit, that was bad. How did you? Oh, fuck. Hey! 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 Hey!
But uh, it was a pretty good night. The guys and I all wore the same outfit, which was hilarious. We looked like absolute goobers, but the pics were cool. Buho itself, would I recommend going? Eh, not really. The music was like, eh. And the crowd was also like, eh. No one was really dancing. Everyone was just standing around, not really moving. You know me, I like to throw that shit back. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really just kidding though. I, uh, I usually am just on my phone and uh, I like to go on Reddit and stuff. It was a good night though. Our friend Raymar had a little too much to drink. And so he ended the night a little earlier than we did. And we ended up getting McDonald's to go, which I was happily munching on uh, at the end of the night. It was a good day. It was a really good day. And I love Ono Seafood. I just cannot stress that enough. Ono Seafood was amazing. What happened? It got canceled. Why did it get canceled? The weather. Clouds. That's it? Clouds? Bro, that's why Kobe died. <laughs> they were gonna go skydiving today. It got canceled. That is so unlucky. I had no intention of going though. I didn't sign up. Those three did. It's only 10.44 right now. So that is very unlucky. Like we drove an hour to get here and we were all like hungover as f If any of you guys are interested, it's called Pacific Skydiving Center. They say that the reason that it got canceled is because of the, uh, the cloudy and foggy weather. Very unfortunate. So, damn. Skydiving was canceled and we are here at Jenny's Shrimp which was not too far away. I think a really popular shrimp truck that was recommended to me was Giovanni's Shrimp Truck. A bunch of locals on Instagram told me that that place is mid and not to go. And uh, this was one of the recommendations, so here we are. Here are the options of what you can get. Pretty simple stuff, but it looks really good. This is the butter garlic shrimp, and uh, it comes with some lettuce, two balls of rice and a pineapple. Ooh, I'm gonna eat this pineapple. It smells delicious, really. I hope it's as delicious as it uh, smells and looks. First, I'm gonna eat the pineapple. First, buddy, here we go. I remember, like, back then. Oh, that shit squirted. <laughs> Here's the shrimp. First bite. Here we go. Oh, look at that. The shrimp pussy. Mmm, wow, that's really, really good. Mmm, the garlic flavor is hidden, holy shit. Okay, I'm getting kind of annoying peeling the skin though, so I think I'm just gonna eat it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can eat this every day though. It gets a little uh, buttery. Actually, I think I, yeah. I probably can eat it every day. Right now I'm thinking about poke though. You too? Shrimp quality is good. The seasoning is delicious. It's cooked well. The rice is fire, honestly. It's a good meal. I can see why everyone was uh, recommending garlic shrimp. Jenny's shrimp, for me, a seven out of 10. The spicy flavor, eight out of 10. If I wasn't hungover, Eight out of 10. I didn't think it was the healthiest thing, to be honest. As I kept eating it, I got kind of like sick of the buttery taste. But I thought the shrimp was really good. Like the first few bites were really, really good. Would I recommend it? Get the poke, bro. Right now, the only thing on my mind, eating poke again, to be honest. The fourth day in Hawaii was honestly a mess. We were all bums. First of all, we were super hungover, and then we had to drive, well, I had to drive them an hour to the North Shore for them to go skydiving. And then we got there and 20 minutes later they tell us, oh yeah, it's canceled. So we drove an hour back to the Airbnb where my friends just fell asleep. So we didn't do much today. Um, I did go to the beach for a little bit. Oh, oh shit. And then we just went back home to watch the Heat and Bucks game. Bro, holy f Which was an amazing game. We also did get off the hook and that was our dinner for the night. That looks so good. So we got off the hook poke again, but we brought it back to the Airbnb because we are watching the Warriors-Kings game. We are very tired right now. 
and Raymar's just been passed out for the past like two hours. Yeah, off the hook, baby. Mmm. Mmm. But this reaffirms my decision. Yeah, I like Ono fish better. Ono seafood's fish, I, def I definitely like better, but. Dude, the rice in this is amazing. I don't know what the f the secret recipe is. It's like kind of green. It's delicious. Yeah, this is like the best shit ever. <coughs> the plan for today is to chill and then we're gonna go to Dave and Buster's that night. Huh? Dave and Buster's? Why would you go to Dave and Buster's on a Wednesday? Cause Dave and Buster's in Honolulu is popping. Finger popping each other's assholes. We're not finger popping each other's assholes. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get lit at Dave and Buster's. Apparently it turns into a club on Wednesdays, so it's gonna be a good time. No. Okay. Oh. Where oh. they're neck and neck right now. So this is actually our third time getting McDonald's. Today. No, not today. In the four or five days we've been in Hawaii. The McDon the fries are perfect. Perfectly salted, perfectly cooked. The nuggets come out piping hot. They are crispy. They are delicious. Mmm. Whatever McDonald's in Hawaii is doing, the mainland's gotta catch up. This is an impromptu recording because it wasn't planned, but this is a Maguro spot. Maguro? This is a new poke spot. It was very close to our Airbnb, and it was also a recommendation that was given to me by people on Instagram. It's pretty good. Seven dollars, so pretty good deal. This is also the smallest size, so it's not very big, and we're just sharing it for a quick bite. First bite, here we go. This poke, it's simple. It's clean, it was cheap, and I, and I thought the fish quality was actually really good. It kind of reminds me of uh, Foodland. It's definitely not better than Ono Seafood or Off the Hook, but I'd say it's like better than Foodland. Similar, yeah. similar tier to Foodland. I could definitely eat poke every day, and I'm glad that we basically have. Sorry about having to record on my phone. This is actually my first meal of the day, and it's 4 p.m., and uh, I'll explain why when we're back home. Basically, we got today after going to Dave and Buster's. So I said I would explain it, but I never did. So I'm gonna do it now. Do you guys remember yesterday, skydiving got canceled. My friends rescheduled for the day after. They woke up at around 6 a.m. and they drove to the North Shore again, which takes like at least an hour. And they were waiting there for like three hours and it got canceled again. So at that point they were like, all right, let's just go home. They were just tired. They didn't want to do anything. So they all just went to sleep. So our very last day in Hawaii, unfortunately we spent it doing nothing. Although for dinner, we did end up getting some traditional Hawaiian food, which was really good. Highway Inn, which serves traditional Hawaiian food. And it is like just packed. Almost every table is just taken here. And there's even a line outside. Yo, so we just came back from Highway Inn. And this is what I got, the Hawaiian moko. Did get a loco moko to share, but I decided to get the Hawaiian because I wanted the salmon that it comes with. This is insane though, it's so big. Wait, my thing is wrapped up in a leaf. Oh, this is the leaf. I think this is called lao lao, where they take a taro leaf and cook it, and then the filling is the, uh, the meat. Is this pork belly? I hope it is. First bite, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yo, this gravy is fire. Good. Let me crack my egg. Sha. Sha. Let's try the um, the regular loco moco now. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that beef patty is thick. 
Loco Moco, first bite, here we go. It's crazy people eat this for breakfast. Mmm. Wow. Yo, that's so simple. It's so good. Yeah, it's literally a burger with gravy on rice. With egg. It's delicious, though. Wow, I really like the gravy on that. Also, another thing, portion size is enormous. Shout out to uh, Highway Inn. One thing that's a little bit disappointing for me, though, is like the amount of leaves they give in proportion to the pork. I'm just so full. And we still have the loco moco to work on. And we have to go to uh, a pocha in like 15 minutes. Honestly, the loco moco is my favorite thing. Like, of this meal, of this meal. <coughs> loco moco is fire. <laughs> I give my Hawaiian moco like a seven out of 10. But loco yeah. moco, nine out of 10. <laughs> Apologies for the low energy while I was eating that meal. I think you could tell that all of us were pretty tired. We did end up going to a pocha together. We didn't do anything crazy. We just uh, sat down, talked about our lives. And uh, the greatest moment of that night was Josh telling us that he would be able to score on Anthony Davis one-on-one, -on -one. <laughs> which is ridiculous. Yo, 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 yo. Oh! <laughs> We're leaving today. It's the last day of Hawaii. Our flight is in about two hours, and we stopped by Maguro Spa, which is very close to our Airbnb. Show and I actually came here yesterday, but uh, Josh wanted to try it before we left. And I got the same thing I did yesterday, except it's just a large this time. This is the house bowl, and it's good. It's really good. First bite, here we go. <laughs> There's sesame oil in this. Yeah. yeah, I like it. It was a really good trip, though, for eating. We had a lot of fun. I mean, not just eating, we had a lot of fun in general. We were here for five days, we tried like four different poker spots. We got to try traditional Hawaiian food. We had McDonald's like three or four times. We went to Dave and Buster's. Yeah, we ran, we went on Cocoa Head. Dude, the McDonald's here was so good. It was the best McDonald's I've ever had. The acai bowls here were good. I didn't get to try the shaved ice. They did at North Shore, but apparently it was like not great. Where'd you go, Matsumoto? Yeah, they said it was like whatever. Yeah, you would be like, damn, this is just not that good. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end the video here, and I'll see you guys in Brooklyn. If you made it to the end, I appreciate you, and that is it for me from Hawaii. Again, I'm very sorry that it took two weeks for this video to come out. I've just been getting caught up in life uh, with Viv, running, just other things. But I do hope that today's longer video makes up for the videos that I missed in the past weeks. Hawaii was a very fun time and I would love to go back and if I ever do I'll definitely make another video there. If you guys have any questions regarding Waikiki, I guess, if you want to go there on vacation or something, don't ask me. Ask a local because they will definitely be of uh, more help. And also shout out Ryan who is a local that I was messaging on Instagram that helped me a lot with uh, suggestions on where to go and like where to eat. Without him, my friends and I would not have had as good of a time. So thank you very much, Ryan, if you're watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys watched all the ads. <laughs> Gotta pay my taxes. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.